Love Nuggets is what's for lunch. I'm gonna make some little strawberry hearts. Do y'all want pretzels too? Yeah. Okay, Jonah, your heart, it's a big one. You got a big heart, so you get big heart <laughs> strawberries. Okay, y'all, it is now a little bit after three o'clock. The kids just finished their schoolwork about 45 minutes ago. We've been all going up and down the stairs all throughout school because they did it up there today since all this was going on down here. So it's been raining like all day and supposed to keep on raining. So Titus was off today since it was pouring down rain and he decided to go ahead and do the sink area over here. If y'all missed yesterday's video where we talked about the countertops. I'll link it down below. So we're going with cement countertops. But yeah, he's doing these over here today. I did get a new sink. There was a lot of drama with the sink situation. <laughs> At first, I wanted an apron front sink, okay? With the original way we were gonna do the countertops, it would have been a lot easier to just go with a regular drop-in sink, not the apron front sink. I think it's called drop-in. There are so many different names for sinks. Anyway, it was gonna be a lot easier just to go with a regular sink. So we were just gonna get, we actually did, buy a stainless steel sink was the cheapest one that Home Depot had. It was still gonna look better than our old sink for sure. But then when Titus was studying how he was gonna do the cement countertops over here at the sink, he decided that an apron front sink would actually be better because he wouldn't have to make little bitty slabs of concrete. So we took the stainless steel sink back and exchanged it for this one. I'm very excited because I love these apron front sinks. I mean, I was just like, it's fine, whatever. Whatever's easiest, you know. But I was very happy when I found out this was now gonna be easiest. He did have to cut this part of the cabinets out because you know the apron front sinks stick out a little bit past the counters and those two little pull down drawers were right there but I never use those drawers anyway. I mean never. Every now and then I would have a little scrubby pad in them that I used for cleaning but that was it. So I'm excited. Ready to get that sink in there. Alright here I go. I keep talking to y'all because I'm stalling. I'm stalling on cleaning all this up. <laughs> Everybody's looking at what they got in their mailboxes. You have a little astronaut guy? Yeah. Space guy? Manly guy. <laughs> a firefighter. They have a little Valentine's oh, mailbox that they have a treat in every day. Today it was a kinder egg. Sissy guy, I think that's a wolf. Is that yummy? I'm gonna be working on the meal plan for this week. I didn't do it yesterday. Let's see what we didn't make last week and we'll just transfer it over here to this one. Tonight we're having Chick-fil-A since I don't have a sink at the moment. So Tyler's going to pick that up. Uh, let's see, ranch hand salads, we had those. We had the beef pot pie. We had the pork chops and fried cabbage. We didn't have the meatloaf because nobody was feeling meatloaf that night. We ended up having the um, stuffed pepper casserole instead. So nothing to transfer for suppers. There is some stuff to transfer from breakfast though. Oatmeal and chocolate chip pancakes and burritos. We didn't end up making any of that for breakfast last week, so we'll add that on here. I didn't make any egg salad last week, so we'll definitely do that one day for lunch. Won't be tomorrow, because I, I don't know if the sink will be in by lunchtime, but we'll put it over there. We'll have a sandwiches day and pizzas. I have some of the little Totino's pizzas in the freezer. We'll have a pizzas day for lunch. Bob the B 
builder to Bob Ross. Well, I don't know about Bob Ross. <laughs> we just hang on here. Y'all, let's look. The good thing about concrete, cement, whatever countertops is. If I destroy this, it didn't cost much. Right. It was only $60 for this slab. Right here was about $60. We don't want it to be too loud. We don't want it to look like a tiger came in here. Maybe like a giant tiger and clawed it or anything. Uh-uh. <laughs> well, you gotta have the same flow, see, that's... I was afraid of this right here. I just asked him just like Jonah did yesterday. I said, you want to talk about it? It's starting to look like a rock. Like it looks like this was a rock, not a rock monster. You remember that Veggie Tales? Uh, I think it was the, the pirates who don't do anything. It was the pirates who don't do anything. Folks, I'm telling you something. I was afraid of this brown at first. Now I'm not. Rock I'm monster. I'm doing this with confidence, you know? but. Yeah. You know what? When I first started this, I was like, Titus, you know what? I was like, what would this be like? Okay. Yeah. And I just good. started dabbing, bud. So we got um we ran I to Home let's Depot. Put some dirt on this thing. That's what it looked like. <laughs> yeah. We ran to Home Depot to get the concrete stain. Yeah, you need to make sure you get stuff that's food grade uh, when you're putting on here. The colors, so they'll mix it for you, you know, at Home Depot. You pick the stain and then they'll mix you the color. We got sandy clay and desert clay. Y'all, let me tell you something about this. And a lot of y'all know more about this than I do. But like when you go up to the granite store, granite has so many different colors in it. I mean, I was up there looking at some the other day that had like a turquoise. I mean, it was bright turquoise running through it. And I was like, now, I didn't particularly like that. But he said that's the most expensive piece of granite that he had. Then there was others he said, now, this has got some burgundy in it. At first, now, I'll be honest. When well, I first you ain't tell me, baby. When I first came in here and saw him drawing them tiger stripes, I was like... Look, tiger stripes has got to be in granite, y'all. Everybody knows that when you go look at a piece of granite, it and... Yeah, you see the lines, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's got to have... But when I first saw it, I was like, woo. But I didn't, like, my heart didn't fail me for yeah. fear. You was like, Clemson Tigers. Because... <laughs> 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 because... We all know that this, you know, was only around $60 for that slab. So I was right. like, he can be out there mixing some more. <laughs> we'll mix it up again. A lot of people were asking about the chiseled edge, okay. if it's going to be chisel, rough. No, the chiseled, that is not, when you touch it, it's not. It, now, it since you put the stuff on it. Like, before you put any kind of stain or paint or anything. Not really. Uh, you can sand it back a little bit, but that's one of the most expensive edges that we have up here. Right, but people just want to know where your clothes <laughs> No, so he made me no, laugh no, earlier. No, no, no. He's not going to grab you and strip you naked or anything like that. He was making me laugh, but yeah, you nice can take... Nice belt buckle, bud. You can take some... I'm going to put it on. <laughs> you can take some sandpaper and sand it back, like he said, where yeah, you don't sand like away the that. chiseled, but you it smooths it where it's not... Because, it, it, you know, you don't want it to be grabbing your clothes or anything. Grab clothes. <laughs> People come to visit and everybody be stuck to the... Folks, if you don't mind, stay watching this kind of stuff. <laughs> this thing has really, really been... <laughs> Crazy, he was making man. me laugh about that earlier. It continues this nonsense and we're going to get rid of this. <laughs> I'm really liking this brand. But yeah, this is looking good. Can I try on that one over there? <laughs> I knew, I knew I would get that response. <laughs> I am no artist, y'all. I knew that that would freeze him up for <laughs> Mine would be I'm looking. Not an artist myself. I'm mine would be looking like. Uh, I don't think I'm an artist because I'm not. <laughs> you know what? Mine would look like mud. Mine would look like a tiger went through some mud. Yeah, that tiger been laying down. <laughs> <laughs> He's sick. What about that? Remember, you were gonna sand that tube. Is it gonna mess up? Oh that? no no no! It ain't gonna mess up. Anymore. Okay. Sand. I don't even know if it's a tube. What is it? A pipe? This, he's gonna sand down flat. That's just, the, there's a plug-in down there. And see, sometimes if you're cooking over here with something you need to plug it up, you can just, you know. But I always sit my, one of my things over the top, the little Lazy Susan turntables over the top of it so you don't see the hole.
So what I do is I just kind of make these veins in it like this. See, I put a, a wave right here. This is called... Uh, desert clay. Desert clay is what that's called. Mm -hmm. And underneath this is uh, sandy clay. And then I got some black, uh, another kind of a, almost a gray. And you know, you got some speckles and some just a lot of different things that look like a real rock. Oh, he put the sink in this morning too, I forgot. Well, it's not, you know, in, in, yeah, yeah, but it's sure just it's over there. there. Again, keep in mind, I'm gonna have a, a post run down here on both sides and probably a little something here with that wagon wheel. We're getting pretty close to the look, I think, that's gonna match this room. Kind of see the colors are all coming together here. Mm -hmm. 